everybody thank you to those who have voted in the most recent poll if you voted for drawing there will be a video on it later in today's video we are going to find arc lengths we're going to start by find a length of a line between two points and in this example we have a generic well, it's not generic. It defined two points. So let's say we want a function to be 3x minus 2, and let's find a length between, say, minus 1 and 2. So to find a length, we use the Pythagorean Theorem. So that would be the square root of x1 minus x0 squared plus So we want to be consistent here. So since we used x1 first, we evaluate the function at x1. And if you're curious, if you swap the order, so x0 minus x1 and then x0 minus x1, you'll get the same results. So yeah, this is going to be the length of this line here. And now we would like to generalize it to a curve like this one here. So we would use a similar idea. We would have to subdivide this curve into a bunch of small line segments and we find the length of each of those segments and then add them all up. Now I'm going to show you how to derive the formula for finding the length of an arc. So I'm going to use the Pythagorean Theorem which is delta x squared plus delta y squared and now we'll divide, I do a bit of refactoring here, and divide this by delta x squared, so the entire inside, but when we do that we need to multiply this by delta x squared, so this is, so if you multiply this across you'll get that original expression back. Now we can simplify a little bit by moving this to the outside. So the square root of delta x squared, that just undoes the square operation. And I want to move this to the right side and I'll sh show you why. Uh, towards the end of the derivation. And this, we can write the same thing by just squaring this entire, entire piece. And put a sum in front of it just to make a point. Now the idea of integration is we want each sliver of the line segment to be as small as possible. So if you're doing this numerically, 
you would you would you would absolutely just use this method. You would manually add up each of the line segments. But we're doing with calculus. So with infinitesimally small deltas, this actually turns into this becomes um, the integral symbol. And this is this is this is now dy over dx. And this is and this is this is dx. This is your derivative, which we can represent as f prime of x. And of course, these two would be the boundaries. So, from the original formula up above, right? That would be your, be your x zero. That would be your x one. And the derivative is, we called it f of one or f sub one. You can see we get the same number. Now, what you would notice is, what is this guy doing here? This is this is why I prepped before the video, and and I want to show you why why this whole thing works. So now I now I can confidently bring this back, and now I tell you that this this is the same formula that we've derived. And you can move these sliders however you want, and and you'll see the length compute. You can make this function however you want. Go crazy with it. And I'm going to make this available. This link here is going to be in, be in the description below. You can go there right now. I'm also going to undo this a few times. So that uh, you can see what that original what that original formula was be be before we brought it to, to integral form. So that's how it, that's how you compute arc length, or miraculously curve length. And I hope you found this video helpful for for those of you who want to see more calculus. Let me know what 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 other topics you want to see. And if you did find this helpful, uh, do consider leaving a like. If you want to see more content like this, do subscribe. And um, again, hope you benefited from this. And uh, I will see you in the next video.